Alright, let's talk about the Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries number 7 from DC Comics. Um, volume 2024, I guess. It, it seems like every year they revert back to issue 1 and, and start over. Um, they're all self-contained stories. They're, like, what's funny, and, and I'll mention this now, this is supposed to be, I guess this is supposed to be for younger readers, but I feel like I, um, read this longer than the other comics I was reading this week. Uh, it's just the, the, it doesn't seem like it, but the, um, the story is, is a lot more verbose. I think it's because they just go in circles and circles. Uh, there's a lot of standing around talking. Uh, rather than, you know, action, as you would probably need to have in, in a kid's comic. Um, in this issue, uh, Batman and the Scooby gang fight uh, Scarecrow, of course. And the thing at the end is that, well, I'll just reveal it. Um, the big revelation at the end is um, Scooby and Shaggy are afraid of everything, so they're kind of immune to all of the... Um, all of the gas pellets that, uh, that Scarecrow throws at, at them. I, I, I get it. Yeah, sure. You know, whatever. Um, they use a lot of the Batman the Animated Series designs, uh, for this. So it's not like the old classic Batman Scooby pairings in the cartoons. That's fine. I mean, that's what people think of a Batman now. It's still kind of blue-gray, but, like, the blue is almost black. And it's got the yellow insignia, um, Batman thing. Uh, on the back is a backup tale of um, Barkham Asylum. So that's where all of the bad guy pets um, go to jail. Uh, so you've got like um, like a, a Joker one and a Poison Ivy one, etc., etc. Um, and they're all trying to bust out and all that stuff. And there's a talent show and they're going to like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's for kids, right? They're going to um, join that talent show again. It's like stir crazy, you know? Uh, if you know what that is. Um, yeah, I mean, this is good for little kids. Uh, and, you know, they'll they'll be proud of, you know, little, little kids, like six and seven. They'll, they'll be proud of, like, reading through an entire thing. And it'll be a keepsake for them um, for years. Uh, it's the only Batman comic I'm really reading right now, to be honest. I, um, because it's Batman, you know, and sometimes Robin shows up or Nightwing or something like that. And it's classic villains and it's done. You know, it's done. Um, not the smartest thing in the world. So yeah, if you have, um, little ones or you just want, like, an easy read, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. It's pretty fun. You know, uh, this is something that's a, um, perennial release. They always release, like, Batman content or Batman Scooby-Doo content. Uh, sorry, Scooby-Doo content or Batman Scooby-Doo content. Um, so there you go. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's, I mean, if you have little ones, then definitely pick it up. Uh, until next time, take care.